Greetings, King Adam, and welcome once again to my humble home here on the set. And uh, today we're going to do a behind-the-scenes look of what goes on here on the set of Noobs Online Adventure Hour. The cast is here. We're assembled for the uh, morning production meeting. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Argo. Good morning. Hello. What? Oh, hey, man. Louie, huh? Mr. Louie. Ivan. I am wanting coffee. I am not talking. Okay, Louie. Um. Come on, guys. We're supposed to be in the spirit. This is a meeting for the next... For the next production. Oh, your makeup looks so nice, Wa. Wow. But, wow. Alright, guys. What's going on here? Why are... Why are you being like this? Uh-oh. Where, where's... Where's Truman? Special effects. Uh, I need a... I need an elevation. Thank you. Yeah, look, there's Huey and Dewey and Lewis and Clark. And Shorty and his sister Shorty. And there's Ivan and Hua the Elder. He's actually in, in character for one of the one of the monsters. See, he's he's Hua the Elzer, not Hua the Elder. See, because you, you never get a very good copy. So it wasn't a perfect copy. That's why it says Elzer instead of Elder. It was a clue. It was a clue. Did you see it? Did you see it, kids? Okay, so where the heck is Truman? Um, Argo, Argo, woo, Argo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, listen, I'm sure you know what's going on here. Obviously, Truman's not here. Word has gotten out about this whole ring situation and everything, and and so what? People are upset. Well, you know, it's just it's it's not good practice, you know. You know, I mean, I mean, we didn't know that scene was coming, and he was just going to step right up and take it. None of us had a chance to audition for it or nothing. Okay, well, tell you what. I'm going to hand the filming over to you. It's going to be your job to uh, get some some footage around the place and, and maybe uh, uh, talk to some of, some of these guys, and I'm going to go look for Truman, all right? All right, then. Hand it over. All right, hang on. I'll get, set, get it on your shoulder here. Oh wait a minute! It's it's still on. Let me turn. All right then. Who does this thing work here? Let me figure out. It. Is this thing on? Is it on? I think it's on. Oh, hello, <laughs> Alex. Hi. You're so so. Here we are on the set, and I'm your host, Argyle. It is Argyle. The villagers can't say Argyle, so they say Argo. And that's Shorty. She's cute. That's her brother. You can see, now the two of you don't start with each other now. That's right. That's right. So anyway, this is the set. We've got a prime well here. The locals were very nice about uh, about letting us move on in. As you can see, they've pretty much gotten out now. Uh, we built them a great a great spot up over the way. They're might happy over there. But of course, this here's the office. Special effects did a great job here with uh, with this. You see, so to to get a, a, a block like this, you've got to take a regular block and then you've got to use the chisel in it. And then with the chisel, you get all kinds of options. They're beautiful glass. So what we've done, so the agreement is in return for using the space for the filming. Um, we're going to really upgrade the place around here and make it beautiful. And plus, of course, with, with Prince Adam coming, you know, his his father, Hugh, the first of his name. Now, now he's the king. And then Adam, you know, he's, he's a prince from what I understand. And when he comes here, he'll be a king, I guess. But uh, do look about a, a nice mind squatch. I've got to say, it's good to work with him. But, uh, you know, it, it, he is what you'd call uh, an amateur filmmaker, you know. And when, when I was invited onto this project, I at first I really wasn't interested, you know. It was more a matter of, uh, 
you know, I, 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 I was captivated by the story. I was captivated by the story. And of course, no great fantasy production is worth a, a hairy dingle if you, if you don't have it worth in it, right? Right? And so, so there you go. So we've got some alpha types in, and uh, of course you got your baby over here. She's she's pretty and all that. And then of course you got you got this one over here. She's a beautiful woman, but of course she's a fighter. That's it. And then, uh, so so then you've got even he's the the quite foreign strong one. What are you looking at? And uh, and then of course this fellow here. I'm not sure they came up with him. But so I'm talking like you. What's a nose? All right. Anyway, so I suppose there you go. La di da, la di da. And we come over here, and here's this house. And of course, we're not supposed to dig around in other people's chests and see what's in them. Oh, look at this. See now, he's he's got one of that one of that amulets. He's probably probably planning on keeping that as a. Oh yeah, see, he's got all this in here. He's probably going to keep it as souvenirs. He better not. Anyway. I've got better things to do. I think we're going. There's going to be dancing later. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's it. Well, what do you want me to say? Well, just just say whatever you want to. Uh, what's what's different about working on this job than working on others? Well, I've played a villager in a lot of other productions, but this is my first speaking part. Well, you haven't spoken yet. Oh no, I've got a speaking part coming up. I I believe I say. <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely definitely gonna happen. Why do you keep staring at my hands? Boy, well, the look of mine. He said, "Of course, wanting only the best actor, so naturally I come." He has great deal professional opinion of me, only highest regard. And if this does not work out well, then I guess I can go back to my old job, you know, the wrestling circuit, you know, professional. I even the monster. That's right, man. There is no way I could possibly be Argyle. After all, Argyle's ten feet tall and can blow fireballs out of his arse. But I will fight today, and I may die, but by God, they can take my life, but they can never take my freedom. Oh, that was bloody good. Hey, what am I doing here? Ah, there he is. Poor Truman. Hey Truman, how you doing, man? Oh, you like him, bye. Hi. Hey man, listen, you know, uh, you guys just all need to get over this. I gave you the scene because you were the best man for the job. Oh, thank you all. Well, I just, you know, I should have, I should have told him. You know, I should have told him. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes, man. You know, and uh, don't you worry about it. See, because. Sometimes we do our best, and sometimes we see an opportunity and we take it and we don't think about it, and then later on we have to bear the consequences. Now, I think the only way this is going to pass is if you go back and you show them it's not bothering you. I mean, we all make mistakes. I know I've made plenty of mistakes, so don't worry about it, brother. You just, you want to take a little time? Look down there, that's cool. Just don't stay here after dark, and I'd be a whole lot happier if. We saw you at the party. There's going to be dancing. All right? All right. <sighs> Poor Truman. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't realize under all that armor that Miss Shorty is a pretty lady. And I think Truman's got it pretty bad for her. But, yeah, poor guy. I think I'm gonna do a little fishing while I got a chance. Catch up with these guys and everybody this evening. I haven't had a chance to sit still in ages.
ah, see, I missed another bite. You know, it's just, there's so much on my mind. You know, uh, Truman is a good guy. And I wanted to surprise him, so I gave him his own little scene there. And, uh, because I missed him. Because uh, I wanted to keep it a, a surprise for him. Everybody else thought he kept it secret, and I'm going to have to admit that to everybody and get this cleared up. But uh, Truman and Shorty, you know, they're they're kind of an item, so she's upset about it too. Oh, I got a fish there. But I think, you know, I think that. Just gonna untangle my line. I can't think. I can't concentrate. I've got to go set the record straight on this. I think that uh, they should be all gathered together, partying now. Good tune. Oh, uh, I haven't getting down. Yeah. Hey, man, have uh, you seen trimming yet? They're all just grooving. I think I'm gonna go put away my fish and stuff and I'm gonna go back and talk. Let's use this trunk for stuff. Alright, put this in here. Oh, I gotta make sure and get that back to the prop department. This guy right here. So there's there's uh, two copies of the pendant. There's there's uh, you know a backup, and we had to use the backup, and I need to get that back to the props. Same thing with the ring here. I better make sure and put those in there. But uh, let's see here. Alright, Truman, bud. I knew you could do it. Look, everybody, Truman's here. I just want to let you guys know. Hey, let me let me get in here. You guys can keep jamming to the tunes, but I just want to let you guys know that I kept it a secret because I wanted it to be a surprise for Truman. Truman didn't keep secrets from anybody. Everybody needs to just let it go and forgive Truman. Now let's party. Uh, 
that's right, shake it, that's right, uh, wow, wow, man, what the, whoo, whoa, that was the craziest dream ever, that was kind of a catchy tune, wow, that was pretty wild, I mean, I think it was a dream. I mean, well, one way to find out. Huh? Yeah, there's Ivan. Yeah, everything's just like it should be. We're missing, missing somebody here, but I'm sure he's probably off, like, I don't know, doing whatever he does. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Uh, he, like, laying back down. Wow, that was weird. <laughs>